quickie. Guess what, guys? I saw Jumanji 2. And I think it was pretty fun. It was really dumb, but I still kind of had fun here and there, you know. I'm actually going to make this quick and quickly state everything I liked, everything that that needs work on, and how you guys should watch this movie, because there's really not much to say about the movie, and I really mean it this time. If I could talk about one thing that it does better, is that it does not connect to the original movie as much as the 2017 one does, because it's quite obvious that the 2017 one only did that, so more tickets could be sold. Columbia was just like, hey, we own Jumanji, make this completely unrelated story about Jumanji now. And the problem is, is that these new movies are a complete change in tone to the original 1995 version. The original movie is one of the most traumatizing movies for children to watch at the moment, and not just because it didn't age well, the movie is just really unsettling. Then we have the second movie which only exists because of the money made in the 2017 version and I like the second movie a bit. Yeah, it was alright, it was a little bit better in some areas. The second movie has double the slapstick comedy and more scenes that focus on Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart and we have Danny DeVito. These are the only reasons why this movie can be considered better. You don't have to switch your brain off because these actors are talented comedians and the writing on them is sharp. In the first movie, it was pretty clear that Kevin Hart was writing some of his own lines. Blue tongue, yeah, that's alright, that one. Yeah, they just hang out. Yeah, that's it. Snakes are racist, they don't like black <laughs> And he and Dwayne Johnson have to play elderly characters trapped in a video game, and they are so good and are the best parts of the movie. And sometimes it's unrealistic humor, and sometimes it's realistic humor. There's a joke about how Kevin Hart doesn't have balls in this movie, and it was too realistic that I couldn't stop myself from laughing. They make the movies 100% better. Now a shit I don't like. I really don't like the attempts at character development. This wouldn't be an issue if character development was good and not predictable, but it is and that's a problem with the first movie too. The reason why it's worse in this one is because none of the arcs end in a cohesive way, and some of them introduce a drastic change in tone that no one was asking for. Danny DeVito's character says something at the beginning that he changes his mind on at the end, but there's nothing in the entire middle chunk that should have changed his mind. I would honestly just sleep through the movie whenever character development comes knocking because it's dumb and not as clever as the comedy. It is quite obvious that they only put in character development because they know that it's a thing that exists in other movies. I honestly just want more slapstick comedy. Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart moments start to outstay their welcome, and I wish the writers just would create more material instead. If you look at Evil Dead 2, what people consider to be one of the best comedies, that movie is just slapstick comedy without any character development. If you count Ash becoming more of a badass as development, then fine. And if Jumanji needs one thing to keep it going, just make it about teamwork because the message of teamwork in movies is the easiest to get right. I mean, older audiences are only really coming to this movie so they could see more of what they saw in the last movie. No older person is gonna come here for the character work. So to summarize on how to watch it, you should see it if you like slapstick comedy or any of the actors that are in this movie. Jack Black is also pretty good in this movie, and so are some of the new additions. However, there's an ability in this movie where you can change what avatar you are. And the only problem here is that it just gets a little bit confusing to keep track of who's who. Just to be clear, you are not watching this movie for the story or the character work, because it's pretty non-existent. You should only watch it if you like comedies and talented actors, because everything else is really non-existent, and sometimes it's supposed to be that way, and sometimes it's not. This movie suffers from the same problems as Zombieland 2, Except Zombieland 2 at least created new comedy material, and this movie doesn't really have that. So I'm giving this new Jumanji movie a 6 out of 10. Nah, it's alright.